Hi there, welcome to Mail Smartly channel. Today in this video, you will learn couple of quick methods to find email by date or date range in Outlook. Let's begin with how to sort email in folder within date range. By default, if you see Microsoft Outlook arrange all the emails in the folder by date. Latest email come on the top and the older fall on the bottom. The email are arranged in the groups. For instance, date wise, week wise, month wise and so on. You can collapse all the groups and see at a glance all the date range so you can find your required email very easily. So here is the manual method. You can collapse one by one manually. But there is another quick single click method you can use to collapse all the groups instantly. So click on the view tab. Here in the arrangement section, there is an option expand and collapse. So click on it. Now click collapse all groups. When I click on it, all the groups with a single click collapse. Just like that. Now you can easily find your email you are expecting in a specific group. So for instance, I am expecting an email received two weeks ago. So what I have to do is to simply click on it and this group expand. So I can easily find my specific email. Now the next method is how to find email from a specific date in Outlook. Finding an email or emails received on a specific date and you need to find that email all you have to do is to scroll down and reach the date manually. So I can expand first. I can expand all these emails. So all I have to click here is expand all groups. Now I'm expecting I'm finding one email. So what I have to do manually, I have to scroll down and down and down and find that email. But if I know that specific date, so what I can do, I can use search bar to find those emails. For instance, I need to find email receive on 28th of March 2022. So what I have to do, I have to simply type received then colon, then I have to type the date. So I type 28-03 for March and 2022 for 2022 and simply hit enter. Here it is. I have received two emails on 28th of 3rd 2022. The date is also visible here. This mail also 28 3 2022. That way you can find your required email. You can change the date for your need. Now, if you need to find emails received on a specific date range, how to find that? So again, click on the search bar. Now click on this arrow. This means you can open the advanced search section. So when I click on it, a simple form, I have to enter some of the information so I can get my my buried email from my folder. So leave all these as it is and simply grab received. Here you have to enter the date. So here you have to enter the start date and here and here you have to enter the last date. For instance, I enter 1st of January 2022. So I have to find 1st January. This is January 2022 and I have to click first. And here I will type 31st of March 2022. I'm using three months of range. Now simply hit enter. So all the emails received between 1st of January to 31st of March are sorted. Now I get the results of emails fall under the specific date range. At the same time, a specific text appear on the search bar. If you look closely, you can see which is received colon my date, my start date, what I have entered 1st of January 2022, two dots and then 31st of March 2022. This is automatically appears in the search bar. That indicates you can directly type the exact text on the search bar manually and the result would be the same. Instead of clicking this advance and entering the date here, you can simply type received your date, two dots and your date and simply hit enter. The result would be similar. Next, how you can sort emails received before 
or after a specific date range. In this scenario, you have to use less than or greater than symbol along with the search instructions. So I will tell you step by step how it works and how you can do that. Let's understand with an example. So I need to search for all the emails received after 1st of May 2022. There are two options. First, enter the range, say received, colon, 28th of March 2022, two dots, as I have mentioned earlier, then 2nd of April 2022, and simply hit enter. The result is clear. There are few emails received in this four to five days. So in this, in that case, you have mentioned the range. Now, the point is you can simply type the base date that is 28th of 3rd, 2022. So I just you remove this date, 2nd of April. Now I will show you how it works. So I just, when I remove this and hit enter, only two mails received on 28th, 3rd. But I want those emails also. So I need the list of emails received before 28th of 3rd, 2022. So all I have to do is to add less than sign before the date. So I just simply type a less than sign on also before the date. That means all the emails received before 28th of March 2022 will be sorted and visible in on the screen. So when I click enter, see the above mail is 26th of March, that is before 28th of March 2022. And when I scroll to the bottom, that is 1st September 2029, that is the starting date. But there is one problem. Email received on dated 28th of March 2022 is not included just because of the input you entered in your search bar. That means I have only entered the emails received before 28th of March. So if I want to include 20, the date 28th of March, I have to also add equal to sign after this less than sign and simply hit enter. The result include the email received on 23rd of March also. That's the beauty of Microsoft Outlook. You can also change your search with greater than sign also. In that case, you will the, your search result will be reversed and the same uh, phenomena is also used in the sandbox also. Now, there is another method to search for emails by date range with advanced find feature. The method is quite intense, but result would be accurate. So open Outlook, I have already opened it. First of all, I remove this previous search, hit close, so it will automatically close all my searches. Now click on the search bar that will open search tab. Here you can see the search tab is visible. Select search tool option from the options section. So when I click on it, there is a drop down list, including some options. Here you have to click advanced find. When I click on it, advanced find dialog box appears, which include multiple options. Now you have to click carefully on advanced. When I click on it, from the define more criteria, you have to click here and there is a drop down list of multiple options again appears. So here you have to select all mail fields. Here, when you select this, numerous options appears again. Now here, select received. That will add in the section below. Now the next option is condition. When you click on the drop down list, there are multiple options. Anytime, yesterday, today, tomorrow, last seven days, next seven days, last week, numerous options. So for uh, show you an example, I'll select last seven days. Here is last seven days. When I click on it, it will be selected. Now I have to click add to list. This search automatically added in the find item that match these criteria. This is added. Now simply click find now. The mails received in the last seven days are automatically added or shown in the section below. I will drag this and expand the area so you can see properly. Now look at that, the date. I will show you the date also. Today is 9th of August, 2022. So la last seven days means it is including 9th of August from 3rd August to 9th August. That, that means seven days are shown. Now you can easily 
double click on any email you want to respond or you want to open or you want to e-read or you can simply use mouse right button to reply, forward, print or any other action you like to execute. Searching an email by date is quite difficult for users. These above methods really help to find your buried email easily. So close all this. Before closing this video, I will also show you a simple quick keyboard shortcut to open your advanced find dialog box directly. So simply hit Ctrl, Shift and F. That will open your advanced find dialog box directly. I hope you found this video useful. Also, if you like these videos, don't forget to like and subscribe the YouTube channel and also click on the bell icon so you will never miss out any Outlook tips and problem solvers video I come up with. Thank you and have a nice day.